بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله والصلاة والسلام على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم أما بعد هبت في الله we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for ikhlas with the bat and we ask Allah tabarak wa ta'ala for his favor in this life as well as the hereafter ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقينا عذاب النار so this beautiful dua in the Quran this dua ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقينا عذاب النار O our Lord grant us success in this life and in the akhirah and in the hereafter waqina adhab al-nar and protect us from the fire this dua habita fillah is azim because in this dua you're begging your lord subhanahu wa ta'ala for sincerity in this life ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة في الآخرة حسنة وقينا ذاب النار ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة You're asking Allah تبارك وتعالى for goodness in this life ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة You're begging, you're imploring your Lord سبحانه وتعالى for حسنة, for goodness, for success in this life ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة and then you're imploring your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala for hasana, for righteousness in the hereafter. Because this life, as the Salaf used to say, a dunya dar al amal. This life is the dar al amal. This life is the time for worshiping Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's time to do good deeds. Right now is the time. You don't have any other time to do those good deeds. So if you implore Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana fil akhirati hasana wa qina adhaab al you're begging your Lord subhanahu wa ta'ala to assist you because what other uh, success would there be in this life except that this success, your success lies in obedience to Allah. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana. So in this dunya, the hasana, in this dunya is the ni'mah and the ni'am of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. It's the favors and the blessings. And part of those favors and blessings is that Allah blesses you with guidance and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blesses you to practice that guidance and preach that guidance and share that guidance with His creation and, and exemplify that guidance by acting uh, uh, according to uh, the shara, according to uh, obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in his legislation. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fil akhirati hasana. And then you're imploring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for the akhirah, that you will reap the rewards of the righteous deeds that you did in this life. So if you were doing good deeds, begging Allah, imploring Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, worshiping Him and Him alone, doing righteous deeds, amal saliha, salih amal, righteous deeds, then you have achieved that success because at that time there's no more time for doing righteous deeds it's done it's finished this is why the prophet alayhi salatu wasalam he said sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasallam he said ida mat al mari and kat al amalahu illa min thalath the prophet sallallahu alayhi wa alihi wasallam said that if a servant, when a person dies, in qata amalahu illa min thalath, his deeds cease except three. His deeds cease except three. How many, how many deeds cease, Rashad? Except three? Three. Barakallah fiqh. Naam. So his deeds cease except illa thalath. Except three. The first one, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wa alaihi wasallam said,
He said, As-Sadaqa Jariyah. He said it is the continuous charity. So that first deed that's going to last with you, because you're dead now, you're in the grave. The first thing that's going to remain with you, or one of the three things that's going to remain with you, as Sadaqa Jariyah. That means the continuous charity. Maybe you built a masjid, maybe you built a markas, a sunnah, maybe you built, you, you gave, you built a well and people continually to benefit from that well while you're in the grave. Whatever it was, it was some sort of continuous charity. The Prophet ﷺ didn't mention the second thing that will remain with you after you die. He said, Al ilm yuntafa'bi. He said, knowledge in which is, it's benefited from. Think about Imam Bukhari. Yesterday in the khutbah, uh, the one delivering the khutbah, he mentioned about the ni'mah of Imam Bukhari and, and his, his story. And that, that is la shak, ilm yuntafa'bi, meaning that Imam Bukhari, his mother, because she encouraged him and sacrificed so he could atlib al-ilm, will gains immense reward from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala every time someone reads Sahih Bukhari. Reads one hadith from Sahih Bukhari that the immense reward. Likewise, the narrators, the narrators, Ahla Hadith, they receive immense reward. Why? This is knowledge that the people benefit from. This is knowledge of the Book of Allah and knowledge of the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. So, this is Ilmi and Tafabi, and this lasts with them after their grave. We mentioned Bukhari in the, in the, in the most Excellent of manners. Why? Because we know the son of the Messenger of Allah through Imam Bukhari, through his sacrifice, through his at, his talab al ilm, his sacrifice of hadith, and his collecting the ahadith of the Messenger of Allah. So had the The people benefit from that. And the last way. In which your deeds will continue with you, al ilm yantafabi. The third is al walad, a walad in salih yaduluhu, a righteous child that supplicates for him. Meaning that if you have children, that you want your children to make du'a for you when you die. You want your du'a, your children to make du'a for you when you die. <coughs> that is one of the deeds that remain with you. Have a ni'mah min yamillah. So those, that's all that's going to last. But if you die, everything's finished. There's no more doing good deeds. And that's why, as we mentioned, the Salaf said, a dunya dar al-amal wal akhira dar al jaza The dunya is the dar of the amal. The, this life is the place of doing righteous deeds. And the hereafter is the dar al It's the time to reap the rewards of what you did. So make sure you do, you did and you do righteous actions that please Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless us with ikhlas, with the bad and forgive us of our many sins. Wa sallallahu wa sallam. على نبينا محمد وعلى عليه وصحبه وسلم ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقينا أذاب النار